You need to chill, chill, chill. <laughs>
um, or your next exercise. And you can do plenty of things in between that time. You can have a sip of water or even better, you can open your training log and you can record how you felt during the last set, what weight you lifted, if you got to failure, where you felt your fatigue, if one arm was stronger than the other, all of those things seem to go into your training journal, including how long you're resting. Because don't forget that rest periods are progression also. It's a measure of progression. So just like progression is uh, last week I did shoulder press with 15 pound dumbbells and this week I did shoulder press with 20 pound dumbbells, that is progression but so is last week I rested 90 seconds during each set of my shoulder press at using 15 pound dumbbells. And this week I rested 45 seconds in between each shoulder press set with the same exact weight of dumbbells. I think I said 15 pounds. <laughs> that is progression. You did more work in a shorter period of time. So track your rest periods and really reflect on how hard you're working during those sets if you really feel that bored. That's my answer. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ask Jesse. Make sure to leave any comments or questions you have below. I will answer and respond to your comments here. And then also please like this video and please subscribe to my channel and share it because I have all sorts of amazing knowledge for you that I love sharing. Thanks for submitting your questions and have an awesome day. Train hard.